Kid Rose Chaos. I had a pretty rough day today at work and personal life issues. So, look, you know, God has come to clutch because look what I got back. This is from Jimmy. This is the Blue Eyes Ultimate I sent Darren Clinicon. Let's make sure I don't mess things up. I take over the address part, so no one's going to be able to come and find me. The yeah, only thing you got is Jimmy. Which I'm pretty sure that most people know where the headquarters are. Right? They do the car and stuff. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I really take this box up good. Ain't no one coming after me. <laughs> and another box. Yeah, they really got the protection game going on. Oh, wow, they really, okay, okay. I, I, I take everything back. They really do a good job of protecting everything. See it. <laughs> Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ultra, Ultra Neutron Blast. Okay, now I got a story to tell. This is, a, this is not a normal Blue Eyes Ultimate, not just because it's Japanese, which I did get some by Eric Stewart, the voice of Kaiba, but it's authenticated to, oh, look at that PSA crap. But let's get to the story. Okay, the story of the Blue Eyes Ultimate. This one, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! just came out. So I bought my first start at Kaiba. Kaiba was my favorite character. So I go to my grandpa's you know, weekends. My granny had to get some hair products. So we went to this black, uh, this Japanese hair place. It's really, you, you know what I'm talking about. Those kind of hair places, they're really run by Japanese people. They actually had some Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. So I opened the Blue Eyes Ultimate one, you know, and I was getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and like I said, I got my first start at Kaiba. This is exactly why I begged my grandmother to buy me two more start at Kaiba's because I wasn't going to pay $50 for the Legend of the Blue Eyes Blue Eyes when the start at Kaiba one looks much better anyways. And it was easy to get a start at Kaiba one back then. So, yeah, that's what happened. I had all the cards in this in a binder. Now, when my grandpa moved, he put everything in storage. The old Super Nintendo and everything else couldn't keep it up, so everything got sold. There is one card I took out of the binder. The binder is sold already. You're not going to be able to find the binder. But I had like Singen Gojin, that's that uh, Cyclops thing. Meteor Black Dragon. I think Magician Black Chaos came out of that one, or Dark Magic Ritual. It's one of the ones. I don't remember. But this was the card I saved. This was the very card I saved, you know. I want to say this is like the first Yu-Gi-Oh card I have, but it's one of the ones. And this is exactly what started my journey to liking Kaiba because I've already had a blue eyes white dragon with, with the Kaiba. And then bought the Japanese pack in the hair store because I know, I just, I know it's kind of weird. It's like, how do they have that? Well, the, the thing is when you go to your... Your your you, when you go to these hair style these hair places these hair care places, you know even ones in the hood, since Japanese people own that stuff, they could put their products. I've seen Dragon Ball Z toys there. I mean, they they'd be careful. There's some bootlegs, but some things are legit. This was a legit premium pack number three. You know, they had the Blue Eyes Ultimate one, and they had the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. But me being uh, Kaiba head already and watching Duelist Kingdom. I got that one. And luckily, I pulled the Blue Eyes Ultimate because you could just get the same four cards or the other four cards or anything like that. I could have just not had Blue Eyes Ultimate at all. And then this would have been an alternate universe. But that's how I got this Blue Eyes Ultimate. And then when Collecticon, I think it was 2000, I can't remember if it's 2021 or 20. Eric Stewart came. It was, it was the, I think it was the first Collecticon because they had Vanilla Ice performing. And Eric Stewart was kind of annoyed, which I don't blame him because the stage was right next to the voice actor signing. He signed this. I told him about how I got this Blue Eyes Ultimate and that he was a childhood hero. And he is. You know, that's why I, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, Kaiba's my favorite character because I like the confidence that Kaiba has that I wish I had. Because I always just don't have that. I just love the confidence that he has. Even if he takes L's, he still goes, he still goes strong. But me being a Kaiba fan, yeah, there it is right here. There it is. The story of the legendary Blue Eyes Ultimate. Sucks the other cards got, you know, sold in the storage that my grandpa had. 
but I saved this one and I'm glad I did. And fuck, I'm getting emotional. I'm gonna get off here. I'm 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 I'm, I'm getting emotional right now, bud.